All right, it's it's a very lazy Sunday afternoon for me. And I thought to spice things up by creating this video. And I I do want to check out what's inside this camera that arrived here a few days ago. And of course, I'm talking about Sony's all new Sony ZV-E10. This is Sony's newest APS-C camera and it features an interchangeable lens mount. Of course, you can use any of the 64 different Sony E-mount lenses on this. Even the big G Masters um, can, can fit on this. And it features a 24.2 megapixel sensor that can also shoot JPEG RAW. It can shoot 4K video at 30p. It can do 120 FPS of SNQ, which is, of course, dynamic slow motion. I, I do think it's feature packed because really Sony has put almost anything they can into this in terms of an APS-C camera. And it's being sold for just $42,999, which, which I think is much cheaper than most flagship smartphones out in the market today. And smartphones are very capable nowadays, but there are limitations that I don't think they'll be able to surpass anytime soon. And that's an important thing because I'm, I'm sure that a lot of people who are trying to start creating content nowadays are shooting with their smartphones and they might be looking for a camera that is perfect within their budget but is of course something that can empower them in the content that they create and also something that they can eventually grow with which means that they can use different lenses on it and different accessories onto it. And if you would ask me just based on the specs alone, I think this is virtually for anyone. It's created to be really friendly for beginners, but it can be used by professional professionals as well. It also comes with a very good mic. It comes with a three capsule directional microphone right here, which also comes with its own windscreen. And what's amazing about this is that it can really isolate your voice in a very noisy situation. So it's gonna be perfect for vlogging outside. Maybe you're traveling, maybe you're at a party or at a concert and you just wanna document it for yourself. And of course, it has the very nice flip screen that allows you to monitor whatever you're shooting, even if it is in a lower angle or a higher angle or Maybe you're just vlogging by yourself and of course you can also do that vertically for your IGTV or your IG stories or your TikTok videos. That's even more going to be useful if you get the shoot and grip in my opinion because of course this one allows you to control the camera via Bluetooth with your hand. So if you're vlogging like that or even if you want to go vertical, then you can control the camera with this panel right here, which of course has the photo button or, or the shutter button, a movie button or the record button. And it, with, with this lens, the 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens, you can also control the zooming in and zooming out without having to touch the lens anymore. And that's I believe that is very handy for when you're just run and gun shooting for your vlog or maybe other, other dynamic on the go content. It's created to also be a streaming camera for anyone who wants to do live streams. Maybe we have gamers in the audience or maybe we have some people who do live selling or, or they sell their products online. For one, for this one, you don't even need the HDMI. It does have the HDMI port, but you just need the USB-C cable, plug it into your computer, and you can start live streaming. You don't even need to download a driver because this one comes with, with a plug-and-play function that you can use it for streaming. It does feature the very nice uh, background to focus button right here or the automatic bokeh as some people would like to call. Lastly, if there's 
anyone using this for shooting some products maybe you want to shoot a demonstration an unboxing it does have the product feature mode which is basically a very adaptive focus mode that basically prioritizes anything you put onto the camera just like this and that's going to be helpful for for selling whatever products that you might want to sell online but yeah what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go for a quick walk and just try out the vlogging features of this camera. Okay, so I'm going for a quick walk and I'm testing out. This is basically the built-in microphone and I don't have the stabilization on. And I will switch on over. So I am at 16 millimeters but with a bit of crop because of the stabilization and I have the IAF on so it's it's pretty adaptive and really the, my biggest problem right now is having anything to say <laughs> and for comparison this is the one without stabilization so you can compare Now I can really imagine this to be the perfect camera for documenting your travels after the pandemic, but more on that later. Now I imagine this camera to be perfect for beginning content creators, and that also includes small business owners who would like to create content for their social media pages. That's why I met up with a friend who recently opened a neighborhood cafe to test out what the ZVE-10 can create for his coffee content. Here's an ASMR video that might get you craving. Now, how would SNQ mode be useful in these situations? See for yourself and imagine the possibilities of what you can do with this one. So after a day of shooting with this Sony ZV-E10, I did a bit of vlogging, I shot some products here at home, and I also did that, that coffee video. I actually am really impressed. It's very easy to use, which means that any beginner can just grab it and start shooting it i like the fact that this one features a quick button for switching from photo to video to snq which is very practical for someone who's not all too familiar with the different camera modes and i love that there's a separate record button for video aside from the shutter button of course the screen was doing very well the built-in microphone was just outstanding i think they're selling this camera for a very affordable price and it's something that you can use right away. What I mean is you don't need any further purchases, at least at the onset. So you can start shooting with a very nice kit lens, you can start shooting with a very nice microphone, and that's, that's really all you need. And down the line, if you want to upgrade, it can accommodate for it. I love the fact that it has a microphone input, so in the future when I want to use other microphones here, maybe the Sony wireless microphone, it is fully compatible. And it also has a headphone monitoring port, so you can listen real time to the audio that you're recording. And if you're shooting someone else or you're shooting something else, you can just have your headphones on you and you can be rest assured that your audio is good. Now there's no question to the quality of the photos and videos I 
just reviewed the product photos that I took of various tech items and also some some beverages. And I feel like this is something that can really help people who started their own businesses during the pandemic. And it will be helpful because they can create their own marketing content at their homes with just a camera and maybe some improvised lighting. And there's just so much in it that will help any beginner content creator to learn photography or videography and just you know, practice and experiment with different methods. I think this camera will be a perfect companion for their journey. And what I'm saying is that through every step of the learning journey in terms of photography and videography and everything in between, the Sony ZV-E10 can be your companion. 